boy. Deaver was training me with the weapons and um, how, you know, how to handle the dog, which I'm a dog person, but I've, I have no training in that sense at all. Also, my, <laughs> my personal dogs are about 18 pounds, and the, um, the beautiful shepherd that I was working with weighs, I think, as much as I do. So to be able to handle Rex in the way that I had to took time. You think I'm afraid of you? Lay down. Rex, lay down. There's this bond that you have to create with a dog, obviously, in a movie like this, especially, um, that you cannot fake. So we had a few weeks before we actually went to set where you know, the dog was coming to my house, I was going to the facility where the dogs trained, and we were just spending time with each other. Um, so that was a really, really important part of the process. We're shipping out tomorrow. We are so not ready for this. I first met Rex before I was going, before I knew that I was going to be his handler. So when I went to the kennels for the first time at Camp Pendleton, you see all the dogs, and I remember meeting him when I was in a bite suit and he was biting me and being very scared of him. Um, but yeah, he was a great dog. Clear, Levy, check the vehicle. It's a two-way street. While Rex was working hard and protecting all of us, I also had to be his voice. Can't let your whole life fall apart over some dog. That dog saved my life. Felt like maybe if, if I agree to this and this comes out, it can help someone down the line who's in my shoes and they want their dog back as well and maybe it would make the process for them a little bit easier. Please just change his classification so that I can adopt him when he gets back. They aren't pets. They're warriors. Because dogs are animals and they're not human, people forget um, or don't recognize the trauma and pain that they come back from war with, just like we do. And because they can't speak our language, people just assume, oh, they're probably fine and they don't need as much help mentally as we do, um, or as, as soldiers do, or Marines do. I hope that this story um, kind of opens people's eyes to that, you know, to not just close the door on these animals.